We like old adverts. Hello, uh, welcome to another episode of We Like Old Adverts. Please subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook, all that stuff. We'd really appreciate it and you could make our days. We are joined today uh, by our wonderful guest, uh, comedian and host of Fingers on Buzzers, the quiz podcast, Lucy Porter. Lucy, <laughs> thanks very much for, uh, for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I don't just <laughs> like old adverts. I love old adverts. Yeah, we, um, yeah we, we've heard that. It's, we've we found um, there, there are more like us hidden in fake pubs all over uh, all, all over the world uh, and uh, it's, it's great to be able to sort of share this very cool kind oh, of god it's alpha -y thing that we're all into yeah totally the coolest thing that there is to be into yeah 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 no well i've been doing um in lockdown because you know we're all doing zoom quizzes all the time yeah as the commercial break in my zoom quizzes i put on old adverts nice and it's now got to the point where i'm taking requests so the um oh you know the um is it mccain's grill steaks i think that we hope it's chips it's chips we've done yeah. that one we've done it yeah <laughs> every time i do a quiz now they're like put the do that one we want to sing it we hope it's chips it's chips yeah. it's funny that because we were we were saying when we did that one that it seems to be really really popular um, mm -hmm. among people that are a little bit older than us and uh, yeah. and and we weren't we weren't sort of sure why it kind of connected so much but apparently it has people love it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I'm, I'm so I'm 46, 47. Like I can never remember, but um, so I'm like a good 10, 10. I mean, at least 10 bang, on 10. Yeah, yeah. bang on 10. Yeah, bang on 10. I thought if you were going to say 20, how dare you? It's <laughs> yeah. grim up north, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so for people my age, it is a real uh, trigger of joy. So the first advert that you've you've brought to to show us today, um, what what's uh, what what is it? Well, it is an advert. This feels slightly narcissistic, but it's an advert starring me. But you will see <laughs> when you see it that it's not. Uh, basically, this is more in a spirit of trying to sort of purge my feelings of guilt and shame <laughs> about this advert. Yeah. And also <laughs> trying to own it before. Because um, <laughs> it's so awful. And I did this in, I don't know the exact year, but it was in the late 90s. <gasps> and never has the phrase, I was young and I needed the money, been more <laughs> apt for So anything. excited about it. <laughs> it's the first time we've had someone do this, like bear a part yeah. of, their, of their history. Right. Much as I've enjoyed this interview, I'm desperate to see this advert. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Have a look. You see this number, 0500 treble one to one. It's called a free phone number, and that's because it's free to phone it. And when you do, that's exactly what you get, a free phone with free connection to one to one. Brilliant. And not just any old free phone. Call digital cell phones now on 0500 treble one to one and you could order this Siemens C35i. It's small, it's sexy. Remind you of anyone? Or you could choose the musical Motorola V2288 WAP phone with built-in FM radio. Or how about this cute little Ericsson T10 flip phone with vibrating alert? Or the cool Nokia 3310. Whichever phone you choose, it will be dispatched to you free the same day. For your free phone, call Digital Cell Phones now on 0500 treble 1 to 1. OK, hands up. Who wants the Siemens? <laughs> hands up. Who wants the Siemens? That was what my friends would shout at me for oh. years. <laughs> <laughs> I'd oh, be at the wow. bar and they'd be like, Lucy, Lucy, hands up if you want the Siemens. <laughs> oh, and some of them weren't Siemens phones, which was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, oh, I mean, there's so much going on in that. It's so busy. Why is there a fox? What, what's the fox's input mm. in this narrative? Mm. Did you like get, I mean, were you friends group. with the fox? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the fox was kind of at one point sexually harassing me. Because, yeah. uh, you know, that was the 90s. It was all very... Yeah. <laughs> Just flew and you, I like the way they had you sort of objectify yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> to sort of make it all right. Yeah, oh, see, she likes it, she likes it. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, and even as I was filming that bit, I thought this is... Yeah, I'm not going to enjoy watching this <laughs> in the days, months and years to come. And sure oh, enough... Wow. Yeah. 
it's um oh, man. They, in 20 they years time there's gonna be a satirical website satirical youtube channel ripping into this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i think i remember watching it when it was on tv and yeah, I never did i think I'm going to talk to her about this some, somewhere <laughs> along the lines. Yeah, sometime. <laughs> yeah, one day I will get the answers I crave. Um, no, I'm actually crying now. <laughs> <laughs> this a bit is of a sort like of... therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I tell you the history Please. of that advert? Because some of your older viewers might remember that I wasn't the first person to advertise that company. They'd done an advert with Harry Hill, mm -hmm. who at the time was a young up and coming comic i think he'd, he'd done like a channel 4 series so he was very cool and they did an advert with him where he interacted a lot more with the fox and i think because in his show in harry hill's fruit corner he had puppets and mm. so i think what they were trying to do was create a sort of harry hill vibe for him mm. and then he did the adverts and they were so universally hated and they were one of those adverts because of course in those days everyone was watching the same telly yeah. and everyone hated them so much because they did look really cheap and nasty and then so he stopped doing them and then they approached me and I was very skint and uh you know it was it was a sum of money that I really frankly couldn't turn down yeah. and uh, and it was this sort of beginning of when it was kind of acceptable to be a comedian doing an advert it was you know you were still a massive sellout yeah, but you know it wasn't completely career-ending like it had been. Anyway, um, so I think what the the sort of there was no editorial decision made about what my input would be, or it was just we've got the fox puppet, which I think was looking much the worst. The worst. We don't want to yeah. waste this. <laughs> this is gold. <laughs> Lucy, you're just a foil for the fox. <laughs> yes, well, that was how Don't I Don't forget felt. that. I did feel like I was at the secondary <laughs> casting, definitely. I was the, you know, I was the Julia Roberts to, to his Hugh Grant or, you know, whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. So, should we give the viewers exactly what they want? Um, it's a short 22 years since that advert aired. Could you do the dance again, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is actually how I dance now, anyway. <laughs> I was just mum dancing before... Uh, the before vibration one was a little more. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was uh, that was outrageous that they made you do that. So I've did you... It, yeah. it was awful because I was in a... It was basically in... It wasn't in a proper studio. It was in some weird kind of... Like an aircraft hangar outside Birmingham because the guys who owned the cell phone company were Brummies. So we had to do it near them because they insisted on being there and having... Right. Him and um, oh, so they, they they want they wanted that as a representation of their brand were they like a pair of crazy wacky guys in like yes. weird, silly tights <laughs> yes. i love it you have them down to a t that's exactly what they were yeah i think Sorry. they were sort of slightly baffled because i don't think they've been involved in casting me because i think they would not have wanted i think the advertising agency there was obviously a tussle going on where the advertising agency were trying to sort of do something with comedians because obviously in that weird advertising agency way they go yeah comedians are cool we'll do something with comedians but then the guys from the cell phone company didn't what they really wanted was a sexy lady and i think that they felt they had been let down because i wasn't a sexy lady and then the advertising agency felt a bit let down because i wasn't harry hill so in every sense i felt like i was oh. not quite what anyone wanted um, what we wanted lucy <laughs> yeah but boy did you deliver <laughs> nobody else could have done it that way you know i look at that performance now um but yeah it was um yeah, it wasn't a, a, a sort of, it wasn't even a fun day's filming. I can't even mm. sort of yeah. say. Oh, God, I can tell you weren't having fun. Let me no. put it that way. <laughs> did, so with the script of it, did you have any creative input there? Good. What was that <laughs> free form line at the beginning? <laughs> you dwell on this. It's free form. So that's form. It's free. So on your brain, it's free. It's form. So it's free. I don't think anyone here is understanding yeah. how free it this was. It was so is. confusing. <laughs> but at the same it. time, you know what free form is. Yeah. <laughs> God. No, and oh, yeah, at the time, the because the fox wasn't even. I wasn't interacting with the actual fox. I was interacting with the hand which yes. is always sort of quite difficult. But then at the end, they brought the fox out. They'd had the fox there all the time. <laughs> this is like Ian McKellen's problem like on The Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? I, I was the Andy Circus of uh, 19th <laughs> <laughs> the, the fox almost looks like Basil Brush's 
drunk uncle that I <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. talk about. I just he's trading on in on his name. So yeah, I mean, thank you for bringing us that. Uh, I know yeah. Lucy, you've also brought us another advert from the nineties. Um, I have, as is our stock and trade. So, um, is do you want to give us some background on, on what this one is? And, and okay, this you... one I think is the ultimate nineties advert. So I can Big list words. at least six kind of 90s either advertising tropes or cultural phenomena that this ad this 30 seconds if that um that it encapsulates so should we watch it and then yes, dissect please, it please. Hey, i don't think this band's really pants don't worry, Sydney. These easy, cheesy flavour skips will soon sort them. Fizz, melt, melt, fizz, fizz, melt, melt, oh, oh, oh. melt down. We'll see. Brilliant. New easy, cheesy flavour skips. They visibly melt, then they disappear. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, should I do a, a quick list and then we, yeah. you know, you can see yeah, what. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, well, it's claymation for a start. So, you know, huge after the Creature Comforts adverts. Um, you've got a little bit of sort of uh, cargo pants, uh, <laughs> bands, sort of quite crap bands with good choreography, like your S Club 7s and your Steps and your Hearsay. Um, you've got a bit of Manchester kind of vibe going on. It's like, <laughs> um, and uh, you've got football and what do lads want to watch football? So there's a bit of lads yeah. thing going on. Um, you've also got um uh, lightning seeds kind yeah, of that yeah, guy yeah. <laughs> i don't think it is the lightning seeds but it sounds yeah. like the lightning seeds and then the whole thing the little cherry on top of the 90s cake oh it's a terry christian voiceover yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, the 90s when you were yeah. naming that um that the lightning seeds thing there I, I was writing a few notes down and i was for the life of me trying to think what is that sound is it some kind of yeah. do what like, but, but lightning seeds absolutely <laughs> nails it so i won't need this yeah i'll be quiet now i love the, the the thinking behind that marketing is so short-sighted as well isn't it like do women like food <laughs> <laughs> nah nah i don't i don't think women just make food don't i don't know if they yeah. eat it so like let's alienate them in the advert they don't matter we don't want to sell salty to them and they don't like salty <laughs> yeah. that's, that's yeah. what we've learned i yeah. like the uh yeah the so the girl band comes on the telly. It's like, oh, girl band. These crisps will sort them out. Turn the telly over, idiot. Yeah. And what do you mean by sort them out? Melt them to oblivion. <laughs> Melt them. Yeah. Melt them into football. <laughs> like, what yeah, a yeah. nightmarish scenario you find yourself in. I don't know Fair if I'd from Steps that would have been rubbish on the left wing for Man United. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You missed another from that list, though, using the word pants as an insult. Yes. <laughs> this is, oh, oh, mate, this, uh, this is pants. This, oh, mate. I guess I got one of those cheese and chips, mate. Oh, as, the chain, this. as two northern men, Deanies, um, yeah. do you sort of look back on the ubiquity of, like, northern accents meaning funny in the, in the 90s and kind of take... Do you take a little bit of offence at that? Because to me, it seems like it's like, oh, let's make them northern. God, northern people are so bloody salty and silly. <laughs> Ima imagine them trying to sell you something. That's stupid. <laughs> but now I think it's worse, because at least they were having a laugh about it then. Northern is in adverts now, and it's kind of, hello, I don't take any nonsense, me, but I'm a mild man as well. Uh, buy some internet from first plus. <laughs> so I'd rather before, where at least at least it was eliciting some emotion rather than now, where it's like, yeah, hello, um, <laughs> uh, why not buy this pen? Is it that good? Anyway, I'm on my way. I like all that. that. <laughs> I like all that stupid stuff, like, oh, yeah, I'm just funny, me. Just funny. So I don't even have to say all funny. I just am. So try it. <laughs> yeah. It still works for me. I'm a child of the nineties. I find yeah. you very hilarious. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it, Lucy? Look at them the in their in their <laughs> <laughs> Look at them in their clothes and their chairs, like oh, normal people. Priceless. Absolutely priceless. <laughs> um 
<laughs> cool. Well, um, thanks again for, for joining us, Lucy, and bringing those, those adverts to us. Such so they're, they're a fantastic. Lucy. And um, yeah, so uh, if you've enjoyed the show, um, please uh, subscribe uh, on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us all over the place. And uh, Lucy, where can people find Fingers on Buzzers if they want to listen? Uh, in podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> was, on, I love that. Nice. <laughs> In yeah. the, woo, it's, it's everywhere like that it will yeah. find you it will yeah, find so you do, do, find, uh, do, do go and find Fingers on Buzzers with, with Lucy and uh, Jenny Ryan our, our previous guest uh, in the sort of podcast ether uh, so yeah thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you later on yeah.